What's up guys, this is J Joey from JJTHC here, and today I'll be showing you how to update to iOS 10. The first thing you're, wanna gonna, you're gonna wanna do is connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer so you can back it up. Now to back it up, you're going to go into you iTunes, then click on the device button, scroll down to click this computer. And if you wanna save all your passwords and everything, Click encrypt iPhone data and put in a password and wait for it to back up. It's as simple as that. I told you. Once it's done backing up, go to iTunes and click on Preferences. Go to Devices and click on right-click on the device that you just backed up and click the Archive button. Once you once you do that, you are ready to go and update to iOS 10. Just click OK and hit Done and close out of iTunes. And you can also disconnect your phone. But first. Well, while you are updating, I would suggest plug it into a power source so it does not die and fail. So what you're going to want to do is go into the settings application, go to general, go to software update, scroll down and click on download and install. Now when you do this, if you have a password, you have to put in your password, which I am doing now. Click on agree to the terms and conditions, hit agree again, and then it should start downloading and installing. So now it's just a waiting game until it downloads. I told you. Once it's downloaded, then it should go to the famous Apple screen, boot screen, and it should download the update. Ladies and gentlemen, please redeem a full call. <laughs> so now that the update is complete, you are going to need to fill out your Apple ID again and your password to verify that it's you. And once you've done that, you can click the next button and move on to updating iCloud settings. Now this just takes like a couple seconds and then it should move to a wallet screen asking you to set up a new wallet or a card. And when it does that, you can hit the no button or set up later button for Apple Pay and the wallet like I just said. So yes, hit that and then you can get started to your new iPhone in iOS 10. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a like and also you can also check out what is new in iMessages in iOS 10 by clicking on the card in the right hand corner. Please like and subscribe, comment down below telling me what I should do next. This is Joey from JJTHC and I'll see you in my next video. See ya! It's my time. Oh, 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 o